Hey guys, this is Paula, and I'm back today to do a flip through of my Christmas um, book that I'm just going to call it Bear, uh, not Bear, but Deer with Tree. <laughs> I don't know. It doesn't really have a name. Um, the title on it is Merry Christmas, and it has a deer. So this is the book. This is an eight by six in size. It's a one and three quarter uh, inch spine. Has two signatures and the, using the front and back, it has 88 pages. So it's full of vintage pages and tea stained pages, scrapbook pages, and tons of homemade embellishments. Um, so it has a tie closure because it's a chunky little thing. You know how it is. You get started, and before you know it, it's, hmm. I didn't want to put a hinge post on this because I just didn't think the style looked good with it. Um, if you decide you want to later, then that's up to you. They're not hard to do. I'm turning it sideways so you can see. Okay. Now, um, this this book was completely covered. Uh, it's an old, worn out, not usable little golden book. Here's the back. It's got trees with the, the famous red and black checks. And I don't know if you can see, but see, it, it's got a little bit of gold glistening on it. It's really pretty, really pretty. On the inside, I actually did the red and black on the inside. And I showed earlier in a video um, how I put Christmas here and up here on the seams. Uh, so let's get started. Move this black ribbon. Um, I'm just gonna do a flip through and show you what all's in this book. And just kind of a quick look. I'm not going to take everything out. Um, takes the fun away from it when you get it, get it at home. But this deer paper is what inspired me to do this. And the deer on the front. And then I saw this fabric and I was, I was at Joann's and I thought that fabric and that deer. I could actually use that deer. So that's how that all came together. Okay, so we got a library pocket here that doesn't look like your traditional library pocket since it's all decorated with Christmas packages and a big cork, a Merry Christmas. I fussy cut the gifts out and then they all look like they were just blending together. So I detailed them with a pen. And I here's your library card right there. That's my business card, so if you need need anything, you'll know how to get hold of me. And there's um, the library card itself. Back here is a journaling card that says, Have a Jolly Holly, Holly Jolly Christmas. I'll get it out right. And then on the back is journaling space. Okay, so moving on, we've got tabs throughout the whole book on top. This did not get, I did not put lace on this book because this can be a male or female book. And I just thought a guy wouldn't want lace. And so we got a lot of plaids going on, which makes me think of flannel shirts. Vintel, uh, vintage music sheets. Um, here is the belly band. And I think you've all seen from a previous video the um, moose with Christmas ornaments. I thought, he's not a deer, but, you know, he's he's close enough. <laughs> and I'm not going to take that out because it's it would take most of the video for me to get it all back in there. But I, I know you can go back and watch the video if you want to see. It, it has an accordion fold out and um, with a lot of journaling space. Here's another plaid, green and red plaid with a little bit of cream color. Here is a big side pocket. I did put the North Pole on here. 
I thought that was cute with the trees in the background. This is a very old Christmas card. Uh, so old that it was, it has a, um, a, um, what do they call those? Wagon train? <laughs> Wagon train. Um, stagecoach. A red sta stagecoach in it pulling uh, people at Christmas, I guess, going to grandmother's house is what I would guess, and or to church. And this is, this is really a precious card. And cards have changed so much, but this is the original. I couldn't find a year on there, but I'll tell you, it was it was with a bunch of really old. Here's some from the Southern Living magazine. There's some. Christmas angels and so forth. Here is the red car. We had a red stagecoach. Now we have a red car with a tree, which I love those. And I stamped a few Santas and reindeer in this book since this book was had the reindeer on the front. And they're, they're just kind of random in the book. Here is some striped paper with a grid on the back. And ledger paper and some old print printer pay, paper uh, that's been tea stained and this is a daily journal type piece of paper here we've got another plaid I'm not going to mention the tabs every time but you'll see them ever so often here's a side pocket with a with a um, a craft bag with gifts, kind of like the gifts we saw in the beginning, with a vintage card that has Santa on it. Okay, and here is some music sheet. And another grid type sheet, just a little different, has a fold out. And there is the reindeer gliding through the air a little bit. Here says, Happy Holidays, Joyful New Year. And this is a couple tags that I just slid down in here that came from a Tattered Dreams. And so did this uh, bag that's behind here. And inside the bag is an inventory card that also came from the Tattered Dreams that I just punched with a triangle and star punch and made a Christmas tree. You don't have to do anything fancy to do your... To do your tags you just simple is fun and I did a flip out so you could journal in the back if you wanted to and here's a pocket a red plaid on a green plaid and it just really pops here's a Santa tag and I used the red and white twine on these and here is just that favorite paper that I like that has a deer on it. Here's some just uh, journaling paper. Here's a white notebook sheet. Some gray paper. Here's tea stain that folds out. I do zigzag on all my tea stain paper. This came out of a children's book that was like, Where's Waldo? Only it's like, Where's Santa? And it's a really cute book. So I put a few pages in there of that. This was the tutorial that I did this morning, and it if it's not up yet, it will be up sometime today. I just took a, one of Tim Holtz clips, or a Tim Holtz type. I'm not sure if that was... This is the, the long envelope. I don't know the exact size off the top of my head. But anyway, um, I took a craft sack and a little white sack. And this is the envelope. Let me fold it out. See, you can see the envelope here where, it, and I just sealed the envelope and took off the ends of the bag, or the envelope, and made journaling tags here and here, okay, on both of them. And I made tags to go inside and both of the sacks have a little tag. And then over here on this little pocket, I made a little pocket that holds two tags. Both sides are identical. 
I did add a stocking. I'm going to flip it over and let you see the other side. And I just, I, I got so carried away making it that it wouldn't fit just in the book by itself. So I decided to just clip it in here. And it is a great journaling, um, uh, a great place to do a lot of journaling. And I'm going to get it on here nice and straight and then go, move on to the next page. I love this tree paper that's in the center of the first signature. And also, just so you know, I did put beads on it here. That, that This is a uh, kind of crafty, light craft color bead, black bead and a craft color bead, which I thought went really well with this book, Red Plaid, and some more of the Christmas children's book, tea stain paper, some gray paper, notebook paper. We're kind of repeating some of those. And here is the next pocket. And I love this because it's so useful. Holiday baking, Christmas crafts, shopping, decorating, more shopping, trim the tree, snowball fights, wrapping presents, Family pictures, holiday parties, still wrapping, making magic, advent calendars, stocking stuffers, cookies for Santa. Seriously, still wrapping. <laughs> I thought that was cute. So it's a, it's a December checklist. I should have took a, a picture of that for me. I made a small, I made two small ruffles for this book. I like to put ruffles in my books. I think they're cute. Oh, and here's a random Santa Claus. I'll hold that up so you can see him really cute. He's a cute Santa. Okay, and moving on. Some of the same things that you saw. Here's a joy tag. It says joy to the world. And I put some rickrack on there. Ledger paper. Grid. Lined paper. There's our red cars again. And here's this other li living page. Here is a side tuck oh, with a Santa, and I just fixed the envelope up where it had my favorite red car with the green tree, and it says trim the tree, and there's a journaling card that has sparkle and a deer on it inside, and I just tucked it up under there. I like these side tucks. They hold your big things very nicely, and they don't fall out. May your heart be merry. That's Santa's North Poe. Okay, and I'm, I'm not saying that they would never fall out, but I haven't had any trouble with them. Here's some more vellum. I did a flip, even though it wasn't anything over the top. I put some sorry silk on the top with zigzag stitch because I like to have that secret uh, signature, not signature, journaling underneath. And um, I've been using the index cards for a lot of journaling spaces because they keep you, you know, your writing straight and it's just easy. Here is a handkerchief that I did a corner tuck with, a red handkerchief. And it's, it's old. And here it says, Holly Jolly and Hello Santa. Both of them can be journaled on the other side. This is that glassine bag I showed you that was tea stained. It's kind of covered up right now. I put the cars on the front and then I put this plaid as a pocket and added this cute little wreath and just put a little journaling card that says Merry and Bright. And let's see. And up here I made another tag. And this is kind of like it's inspired by Tracy Fox. You know, she did one where tags uh, dangled it was a little different than this but I just decided I wanted to put a little pocket right here under the believe since there was a pocket under the the with the other one so I just it says believe in the magic of Christmas and I just thought well I'll add that like a pocket and get a little mini tag out put a bow on it so it can hang down or it can go into the pocket and then I just have the the twine on it I'll leave it in there so whoever gets this book will know that it's there. Okay, continue on with some of the same pages, just different places. Here's a side tuck, have yourself a merry little Christmas, and just some fake zigzagging. It's 
It's an index card you can journal on. Here's a deer pocket. It has a cute little round circle tag that has this really cute wreath. And you can journal on the back. And here is a snowflake. And I just doodled some snow. I like the simple little tags because they don't bulk up your journal that much. Here is a ruffle and tea stain paper. Here's some green Christmas tree with pine cones. And you'll see some of the same papers throughout. I, I went with like six different papers, I think. Here's Santa and the reindeer. They have their scarves on, if you notice. Here's the grid and lined and ledger paper. Here is some printer paper, journaling paper, and back to our scrapbook paper. This paper has a side tuck as well. Um, Santa that says kindness. He's pretty kind. And you open it up and it does have a journaling card inside of it as well. And then here's some fold out tea stain paper and a vintage music sheet. Christmas ornament paper, really cute. Here's some more of that Where Santa book. The, the famous red plaid side pocket with Santa and the reindeer. I thought that was pretty. Here's some gold stripe. It's really kind of a taupey gold. And I used it to mat on the front of the book. Here's some more tea stain paper. Plaid. And there's our deer. I love, love, love that paper. And some plaid. Some more tea stain paper. A lot of areas to journal, even though I made a ton. I mean, I had a pile of things I made. What I usually do is I don't even look ahead at what's going to go on in the book. I know in my head what I normally do as far as pockets, tucks, and so forth. And I add and change it up. But um, I just start making things that will fit for that book. And I find somewhere to put them, even if I have to add a pocket to do it. So, you know, I sew all my pockets on so you don't have to worry about them being popping off or anything. Here's a mini trim the tree. Uh, and I doodled around it. And then inside is a little card that has packages that has some doodling. And these are tea stained. I try to tea stain as much as I can. And when I have more time, I tea stain more. When I don't, I, I can't tea stain more. <laughs> so we're continuing on. Here's a, one of the big uh, corner pockets. And I just thought this was really cute. So I made a tag out of it. This is Santa's clothes hanging to dry. He's either washing them to be ready to deliver toys or he's just finished up. Here's a, a coin, a little coin pocket with a tree on the inside and some trees on the outside. And that goes along with the cover too. Here's some more of all these papers. There's Santa and his deer again. Says happy holidays. It's made out of twigs of wood, pine cones, acorns. Here's a pocket I made out of a greeting card. It was blank on the inside, and I just made it out of a greeting card and um, just gave it a little bit of bling. And I just kind of threw in a variety of things. Merry Christmas, but you can still journal on it. Here's a tag with some plaid, but I love the shape up here. And I put a wreath. You can journal on it. Oh, and our decoupage tag that we made a while back on a video. You can journal on it. So there's three different tags in this. And, I mean, I could have easily just put one, but I went ahead and filled it up. I like the look of that. I try, I try not to be stingy at all with goodies. 
Uh, it's kind of my, my thing. Here's a deer pocket, and it says Jingle All the Way. This kind of reminds me of the station wagon in Christmas Vacation. Only the tree's way too small, and there's not a big root on the bottom. <laughs> that show is like a show we always watch at Christmas. I don't care. It's plain when we decorate our tree. I fussy cut some trees out here. We've done a project like this before, only it was a different shape. This is what's holding our flap down. Open it up. We have some little scraps of paper. Just, I don't know how many's in there. Quite a few, it looks like. And then I just folded this over. And then down here, I made a little pocket. Put a little strip of green. We have a little Santa circle. And then I made a little tiny tag with a Polaroid of Santa's picture, which I thought those were cute. Anyway, so this is simple. You can cut it any shape, any width, any height, and you can make one of these. I just double fold them. And if you, if you go back, there's a video. I just kind of do a, give them a little bottom right there. And I don't worry about the top. You know, it's kind of like the shape of a purse. It gets smaller at the top. And then I just slid it down into this belly band. And it has stayed just fine. Here's some more music sheet. And red plaid and Christmas tree. Now yesterday, um, this video should have gone up today. If it hasn't, it will. On how to make this. Um... I, I um, had fun making these. I, I took um, another video I did and just added to it and made it more complex. But I was inspired by Tracy Fox to do that because she did something similar with just cardstock. And so you can, or she, with scrapbook paper, wedding cardstock, you can do whatever ever you want or how you want it and still make it look similar. So, I use this same little card again. It says believe. So, I would recommend to you that you don't use, a t you make it out of the color you want it to be. So, you don't have to matte like I did. Because I wanted to make it out of this red so it would kind of blend back here. But that was a mistake, really, uh, because then you couldn't journal. <laughs> And I was like, hello, that's the point. So I went back and matted. So you can journal on the right. Journal here. Journal here. Uh-oh. Journal here. And here. And here. And here. And I attached this down because it was... It was pretty heavy, and I didn't want it to. So there is a video on how to do this. Um, I did it last night, and it should be out today sometime. Okay, and then you just fold it back in, and it, it lays very, very flat. Um, I don't have the one close by that we made last night, or I would show it to you. But anyway, that is the Christmas slash deer flip through. I hope you guys enjoy the process of this, uh, this book and, um, that you'll give me a thumbs up when you see the video and give me a thumbs up for today's video. I like a thumbs up anytime. Um, anyway, I didn't put a real long gaudy bow on this. This was really the only black I had, and I wanted it to have black. So, if you don't like the black when you you get it, whoever purchases it, um, you can change it out. And I had red, but it just, of course, I'm not tying it great right now. I'll fix it, but anyway, that's the video for now on the flip through 
of the deer slash tree junk journal. See you guys next time. Bye.